What's up, you guys? The last time that you saw this car, we were up at the track at Brainerd doing some stuff around the road course, testing this thing in stock form. And that is because today we're gonna be installing something I've been waiting a long time to do. We're finally gonna be putting some new coilovers on the car and a new set of wheels. We're gonna see how this thing handles with some suspension upgrades. If we have time, we might throw some sway bars on the car, but we'll see. Otherwise, we're just gonna get right into the video and we'll show you what coilovers we're putting on. These coilovers aren't on the market yet, but they will be on the market very likely soon. Um, so today we're gonna give them a, a quick install, a quick brief look, and kind of give you guys the, uh, the insight on the next best coilover brand on the market. So yeah, these look super good. They handle really well from all the testing we've done. We haven't actually experienced these in the BRZ yet, and these have been cars that have been well known for their handling, at least the first gen was. So I'm really excited to see how this really like wakes up the chassis, if you will, and gives it that extra bit of reinforcement that we've been looking for. The car was super fun on the track, even with stock suspension, but today we're gonna put these in and it's gonna be way better. All right, Tiny, what do we know about these coilovers so far? So, so far, the obvious are these are height adjustable and spring preload adjustable coilovers. These are also single 32-way adjustable dampers, so you can really fine tune these guys to get your perfect ride comfort and handling desires all in one. Um, these are super affordable, but yet high quality coilover that we are bringing to the market. And uh, yeah, like Charlie said earlier, had these in a handful of other cars at the shop. Sorry, don't mind my light. Um, we had these on our WRX for a while and also our Evo 10. And honestly, they rode great. Uh, one of our friends here at the shop, Alex, has them on his Tesla. So you could Tesla guys, you can be sure we're gonna get you some more parts your way. Um, yeah, these things ride great. They are the perfect mix of comfort and control. So we are super excited for you guys to get the, your hands on these as well and kind of test them out and bring them through the ringer. So far, I think uh, Kyle is making some pretty quick work. Looks like the car is really easy to work on. Uh, you know, the coilovers themselves uh, look very similar to stuff that I've installed on other rear wheel drive cars. Um, so pretty easy. The wheels and tires, I'm really excited to see how they actually end up fitting. Uh, we went pretty aggressive with a 9.5 plus 38. Um, I have my own BRZ coming in and I, I took the, the safe route. I got an 8.5 plus 45. So we'll see if I need a spacer or not, but we'll see. I'm really excited to uh, have Kyle finish up. So uh, taking the rear suspension out was almost as easy as the front. Uh, just a couple interior panels that you gotta pop out. It's like six push pins in total. Uh, and then the rear is just uh, the two control arm bolts and then the sway bar bolt and then she's out. It's a relatively simple process. Nothing you gotta wrestle with really? Nothing you gotta wrestle with, especially with these cars being brand new at the time of filming. Everything's free and loose. We're obviously in the rust belt, so usually we get the worst of the worst to work on, and this just came right apart because it's brand new. So, uh, you know, if you're gonna put coil overs on your car, do it right away. So it's not rough. Great advice from Tiny. Uh, we're gonna put the new coil overs in, uh, and then we're finally gonna be able to take this thing for a test drive. We haven't talked about it yet, but we are putting the 57 Extreme Transcends on. Obviously, we've talked about the wheel spec. They are 18 by 9.5 plus 38s, so they're pretty aggressive. Hopefully, I don't have to make Tiny do a bunch of fender rolling, but if we do, it's not the end of the world. If you want to be running aggressive wheels, sometimes you got to do some fender trimming and or rolling.
right, so Tiny spent a little bit of time uh, dialing in some of the ride height. We want to leave it a little bit high for now just so it doesn't uh, settle and end up stuck somewhere or anything ridiculous. Um, the wheels, tires, they do fit. Um, it's going to require a little bit of massaging, if you will. Uh, but I'm excited to see how this thing handles with this new coilover. Initially, right off the bat, it feels a lot flatter through the turns. I'm going to make the camera shake a bit by jerking the steering wheel a bunch, but the car feels really nimble. Let's hit a bump. Feels like it's taking the bumps really good. Yeah, these cars, this is gonna be so fun once we give it a little, little bit more power. There you guys have it. As you can see, we put the wheels and the coilovers on the car. It looks phenomenal in my opinion. They, the new coilovers, they handle great. It doesn't feel like we gave up anything over the stock comfortability. Unless you've got super, super long legs, then getting out of the car, just like any other lowered car, kind of a pain. Not one that I have to have to experience. But otherwise, that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. Stay tuned because we're super excited to release these coilovers. I think these wheels look amazing. I can't wait to see this drop and settle just a little bit more. Maybe we'll end up doing a little fender massaging, but otherwise, these wheels fit great. They look great, they're aggressive, they feel good. The FK510 Falcon tires, those handle great in our experience. Um, so that's gonna wrap it up. We'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned, peace.